Oh wow, that's a. Uh, that's definitely a face. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Megan Alexel, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last part, we received the sword from Orca, as well as the telescope from Aril. And we used it to look at the mailbox. Then the giant bird showed up out of nowhere. These pirates over here shot a cannonball at it. And also, uh, it kind of fell into the woods. Or, she fell into the woods. We received the sword from Orca just to save said girl. And, uh, Ariel got kidnapped, and now we gotta go save her, because we are her big brother, Linky, and we must do just that. And, well, yeah, in this episode, we're gonna be seeing some things that we can do around the island, as well as, you know, say our goodbyes and stuff. So, first off, I wanna go over here and talk to these guys, because I think they'll say something interesting now, and... Oh god, your boys have been cont contaminated by the Snot Bubble Kid here. Talk to the- Talk to the father, please! Linky, are you going somewhere? No. Shut up. I want to talk to you. Linky, your sister are real. She's- Don't tell me. You're not, you're not gonna board that ship and try to save her, are you? Well, I'm her big brother. It's what I'm supposed to do. Uh... Okay. Uh... Big dude over... The big forehead guy is not outside, and this lady, I don't think we learned her name, but, uh, let's talk to her anyway. Linky, I thought I heard Earl's voice cry from far away. Is it, is it really true? Yeah, sadly it's true. She was kidnapped. Or, well, she was kidnapped by a giant bird. And, uh, so, I forgot to mention, we can actually cut these trees now down to get that yellow rupee right there. And, uh, there's also a blue rupee up here, I think? I don't know. But, uh, anyway. So, we're gonna go talk to the, uh, pig lady, because I think she says something interesting. I don't know, it's like the quest for interesting dialogue. What should I name these little oinkers? Say, Linky, did something happen to you? You don't look well. Shut the fuck what the hell? Anyway, uh, capture! Capture! Don't- Oh yeah, I got a funny outtake. Uh, I don't have the footage though, but um... So, <laughs> I had to re- This is the second time I'm re-recording this episode, in case you're wondering. And uh, there was a- uh, While I was explaining the things that we did in the last video, um, Easy Grabber, which is uh, my recording software, just flat out dipped on me and just stopped and just closed. And I was like, oh my god. Uh, I wish I kept that footage because it was funny. Did you hear that noise, Linky? Did something happen? What was it? Oh, say, that's a fine sword you have there, buddy. Just look at that thing. You know, you'd be doing me a big favor if you cut this grass here for me. Yeah, let's do that. I'm feeling generous today. Oh. Spin attack, please. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, does he actually say anything different if we uh, cut all the grass? Uh, I'll meet you guys here when, uh... I'll meet you guys uh, back when I'm cutting all the grass and stuff. Or when I'm done cutting the grass. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can find things in the grass when you cut it. So, isn't thankfulness... So, it isn't a thankless chore. It pays, buddy. Wow, that was a letdown. Okay, now I'm sure there's something you really want me to show off, and we only have, like, 175 rupees. So, let's spend some rupees. But I hear you yelling at your screen, but Alex, there's no shops on this island. Oh, but... There's always a shop in a Zelda game. I think it's time we meet one of my favorite shopkeepers in the Zelda series. Oh! A customer! Welcome to Beetle's Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Or, do you see anything you'd like to buy? Now, I don't remember him saying anything about selling stuff. But apparently we can sell things, and I didn't know we could do that. 
Huh? I don't have anything to say. Just buy something. Bye bye. Okay, so we got the bait bag. This holds bait. It's quite useful, and it's the very last one. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bait bag. You buy it? Uh, yes. You got the thing! You got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight patches for storing bait, X, Y, or Z to see what's inside, and then press X, Y, or Z again to get your bait ready to use. Thank You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm gonna make a member's card just for you. When it buy lots and builds up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good, indeed. My shop is kind of... My shop is kind of its customers. No matter shop will sort of thing to you. I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. Should try to get 30 points for a silver membership. My reading is terrible today. So... Next we have an item here called the Hoi Pair. And yes, I know it's... It's actually pronounced Hoi, not Hawaii, or, or whatever. Anyway, it's a special bait that lets you take control of seagulls. Uh, when I was little, I had trouble actually pronouncing its name, and I used to call it the Hiyoi Pair. Or Hiyoi. Which eventually learned to the pronunciation of Hoi. I don't know. But anyway, that was telling you how to control seagulls. Uh, I'll go over it more whenever you uh, actually take control of one. So, I'm gonna buy three of these, because... You will need them sometime in the game. You don't need them now, but they are useful to have. But what you mostly need is this. You got the all-purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet food the moment you put it down. It has three portions. Choose your bait bag on the item screen. Yeah. So basically, the bait bag can hold the hoi pears and the bait. So, I'll meet you guys back when I maxed out my bait bag with nothing but bait. Yep. I'd say about, uh, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, or wait, wait. 3, 6, 9, 12. I'd say 15 things of bait is not bad, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave. So, we're down to 75 rupees. That's exactly 100 less of what we started with. But do you want to know how to get more? Also, Link is looking up at something. Now, in this game, later on in the game, I've already gone over this in the old Let's Play, in case you're wondering, but, uh, if you want to, if you want me to repeat myself on things we already know, well, anyway, sometimes Link will look up or down or all around or something. And, ah, see what I did there? Anyway, so Link's eyes are actually very helpful later on in the game because they can tell you where you want to go or something or something he's interested in. But the real thing I want to show you guys is down here. So, grandmother's Grandma's house has a little outcove here. And if we go here, my capture card is freaking out right now. Like, I don't know if you see it, but... It is flipping out. Anyway. So we can come we can come here from the very start of the game. But I chose till now to come here because this is very important. Basically, this is grandma's private savings. And I'm pretty sure this was gonna be another birthday gift, but you yeah, know. You got an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth a hundred rupees. Your face is beaming. And we are right back to where we were before I started buying things. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You could keep that there till the very end of the game if you want, because... Well, I mean, once you open it, it'll uh, always be empty, just like everything else in some Zelda games. <coughs> Try that princess, but uh... Anyway, let's go see Grandma and see what we can do about that shield. Now, Grandma is down here for some reason, so she knows something must be up. What is it, Linky? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Avril? Is she still outside playing with the gulls? Uh, this just breaks my heart. Let me go up, and the shield's not there. But, 
Grandma's now in a different position. Come down the ladder. Linky. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it's true. Aaron really must have been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? Koji Kondo, you magnificent bastard. The first time I heard this theme, I literally almost shed a tear because it's just so sad. And Grandma's theme is this is probably one of my favorite themes in the whole game. Just because of all the emotion. And if you look around in Link's house, or Grandma's house in this case, you can see pictures of Link and Aril. Another picture of Aril. And it's just ah! so much emotion. Anyway, talk to Grandma again. Oh, Ariel. Yeah. So now with the shield in hand, it's time for us to go. <gasps> oh man. But you know what? I think before we actually go, let's play Orca one more visit. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skills with the sword? I'm serious about that tattoo, man. I will have a tattoo like that one day, and I'll make a video to prove it. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. So, I feel like we should have one more refresher before we go. Venturing off. Save our sister. So, it's only necessary to be in tip top physical condition. Very good. Next is a thrust. Oh, shit. Keep thrusting! Shut it! Next is a spin attack. Oh sh Taki mushrooms. I, I can never do it by spinning the I can never do it by rotating the thing, like seriously. Do it! <laughs> oh sh but Now Now that was just the 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 rolling back. But uh, there is one more uh, reaction command you can do, and uh, there, yeah, so the one reaction command I was actually trying to do just now, uh, basically, uh, it's a helm splitter is what it's called in Twilight Princess, but you still have much to learn, but the skill has become a master in your veins, do not neglect your practice. So you beat him again after first obtaining the sword, and he will have more to say. But I didn't show this off in the last video. Or why did I put my sword away? So basically, if you keep on hitting him, this is my favorite thing to do. What are you doing? Hey, Lanky. Stop and desist! 
Her, yeah. So, he'll, he'll flat out just knock you down. It, it's amazing. Ugh. Okay. So many things in this game just... Ugh! I love it. And that freaking, uh, the symbol on the door. Now, I wanted to bring up a topic about this, and yes, I also might get a tattoo of that. You'll never know. Yes, I'm one of those YouTubers that would like to have a tattoo one day. Some YouTubers I know have tattoos. <coughs> Silver Chen. Uh, I'm just kidding. Love you, girl. That sounded very flamboyant. Wow. That's a decrypt old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Uh, my capture card sure, sure as hell not ready. But, uh, actually... Um. Well, hurry up already. If you take much longer, we're gonna leave you behind. Don't think we won't. <laughs> uh, my capture card's actually freaking out right now, so, uh, it wants me to end this video. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we're gonna be boarding the pirate ship. And then we'll be saying goodbye to Outset. Once and for all. Trust me on this, it's, it's very painful. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.